Hey what's up guys, today the For Honor beta starts, this is a closed beta of course, and uh, when you begin, you begin in the tutorial, which is this level. Uh, looking, press LT. It's good to practice this of course, it's very useful online, and it's been a while since the alpha of course. God mode. Press LT and use the right. Yeah, as you can see, the right stick to change guard. <sighs> okay. Blocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it works. You block by putting your guard on the same position as them. Oh, yep. <laughs> you can obviously just hold it on that position, but that's cool. I like to change it, you know. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's done. Attacking. Uh, yeah. Okay, right bumper for a quick attack. And Take it to the enemy. should be able to do heavy attacks now. I couldn't do that before. There's a challenge for us of course to do the light attack. Obviously using the same attack twice doesn't have to be the same guard position. Um, it's a quick combo of course. Oh yeah I have to press B again. Oh moves yeah. Second, so this is a combo or something. RB, RB, LB. Okay, nice. These, you know, are combos like in Mortal Kombat and stuff. Which you can pull off with each hero. And they are different for each hero. But there are some basic ones like twice the same and type attack. It's a, uh, yeah, you know, an easy combo. Go on, easy capture the zone. Yeah. To be. What is the sprint with? Oh, this is sprinting. <laughs> soldiers, soldiers can't be locked on. Press all LT. I just get them, you know. I advise to use quick attacks, but you have to be mindful of your stamina, of course. Your heavy attacks help to clean up a lot of them. Kill enemies to help your soldiers push to the front. Obviously we've got unlimited stamina now. But in multiplayer you will have stamina meter right in your health bar. And um, killing soldiers, doing any attack moves, you know, costs stamina. Like doing this. Heavy attacks are very expensive. The lighter ones attacks, as this one, um, will be quite cheap. But you will have to regen your stamina. So don't focus on these soldiers too much, because if you encounter a player, uh, you're screwed. Oh, yeah, let's go to see. Enough for the soldiers. Contested. Okay, we have to dodge. Okay. 
objective completed. Guard break attack. LB and X. Oh, RB and X on points. This one is very useful, of course, because if the enemy is blocking, you want to be able to attack them. And by D, by using this, getting them out of card mode, you can finally do damage on them again. Very useful online, of course. Sure. This one, very useful. You can stun them by throwing them into objectives. Um, wait, let me give him some space. Um, let me try to push him in the fire, because that's something very useful as well. Jesus, just go into the fire, will you? Oh, I can't push him in. But anyway, you can push people into fire sometimes with this, and you can push them off a ledge, which will instantly kill them. So it's very useful to use that. Stay in the Okay. It's a little bit different from the closed alpha. They don't have the pressing B after each objective, so you couldn't train them more than once unless you like replay the entire entire tutorial. But here you can just press B when you're done training with one part. So if you want to train it more often, like the the blocking for example, you simply don't press B. And for the rest, it was pretty similar to the closed half of. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.